Application of Pythagorean Theorem. Here is a multiple choice question. It's kind of a test for you. You can pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestion. I hope this question will help you to understand Pythagorean Theorem better. The question is, area of the right triangle ABC is, we are given five choices. Now, whenever we are trying to find area of a triangle, we can always use the formula, which is equal to half base times height. Now, what are these two sides? Well, these two sides, as you know, are the two sides of the triangle which do not include hypotenuse. You can say that. So we are basically considering the two sides, the legs of the triangle. That is what we are going. So these are basically legs, right? And we can say not hypotenuse. So that is kind of a tip to figure out which two sides are we talking about. So one side is this and the other one is this one, correct? So these are the two sides which we are talking about you could call any one of them as base and the other one as height. The third side, in this case AC 10 centimeters, is hypotenuse, which will not be used to calculate area of the triangle. So that is first thing which I want to highlight here. Now let's get back to the question itself. We need to know AB and BC to find area. Now how can you find AB? Well, this is a right triangle, so using Pythagorean theorem, you can find AB. So what is AB equals to? Now AB is not the hypotenuse. It is the shorter side. Using Pythagorean theorem, it should be 10 square minus 8 square square root. Correct? That is what it is. So our logic is that since it is a, not the longest side, we have to find difference of squares, right? And now you can calculate this, which is 100 minus 64 square root and that is 36 and that gives you 6 so we get AB as 6 now once we know what AB is we can calculate and find the area 6 times 8 divided by 2 so now we can say area equals to half of 6 times 8 so 3 times 8 is 24 units are centimeter square answer is E you see that so that is how you should be finding area of a triangle. Remember two things that whenever we are considering area of a triangle, we are considering the two sides which are the shorter sides, not the longest one, right? Second, those shorter sides when you have to find using Pythagorean theorem is difference of squares, square root. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.